setting up your Virgin Media Hub. It's box fresh, it's shiny, and it's just waiting to be your companion for all those endless hours of entertainment. There's just one problem. Now you need to set it up. That's where we come in. We're here to walk you through the whole process of setting up your Virgin Media Hub. We'll make it so simple, a child could do it. First, take everything out of the box and have a good look. You should have a Virgin Media Hub, a coax cable, a power cable, and a power adapter. Next, find the Virgin Media connection box on the wall in your home. If it's an older box, it may have UPC on it, but that's fine. Take one of the red ends of the coax cable and connect it. See, it just pushes on to the right side of the Virgin Media connection box. With newer Virgin Media connection boxes, you may only have one outlet. Now, take the other end of that cable and connect it to the socket that sticks out on the back of the hub. Next, find the power cable and connect this to the power adapter and plug it into the small round socket on the back of your hub. Got it? Good. Now just plug it in and switch it on. We advise only using the adapter provided. If your bundle or package includes home phone, then it's a good idea at this point to install your phone too. Just connect the phone cable to the port marked TEL1 at the back of your Virgin Media Hub. Finally, press the power button. It can take up to 30 minutes for your hub to connect to the internet and download the latest software. So put your feet up and have a cuppa. Or you could spend a few minutes checking out what all those lights are for. This one is the Wi-Fi light. It flashes during setup, then stays green for two minutes when you're done. It isn't on normally, but turns red when there's a problem. Meet the internet light. This one also flashes during setup and stays green for two minutes. Again, it isn't on normally, but turns red when there's a problem. When your hub's downloading a software update, it'll flash green. Here's the phone light. Like others, it flashes during setup stays green for a couple of minutes and only turns red if there's a problem. Next up, the WPS button. Pressing this button lets you use WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup, if you prefer the long-winded version, to add a Wi-Fi device or computer to your network. And last but not least, we have the base light. This lights up when your hub is turned on, then flashes and changes color during setup. Usually white, it turns red to let you know if there's a problem. Now that your broadband's up and running, you can connect your devices. You just need your Wi-Fi network name or SSID and password. Check the bottom of your hub or on the pullout tab and you'll find it there. Don't forget, if you had broadband before, you'll need to reconnect all your devices to your new hub. And finally, you can always connect your computer or laptop directly to the hub using an ethernet cable like this one. Just plug it into one of the four ethernet ports on the back of your hub. And you're sorted. I hope this solved any issues you might have had. Thanks for watching.